Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to add a little bit of realism, okay, inside this scene. Okay, first of all, I'm going to model the beige border of these walls because the lower part of these walls seem a little bit up to me. Also, when I just start to render preview, we can see that the sunlight is a little bit unnatural here, okay? Because I think we should, you can add uh, some fog, volumetric fog here. And after that, we are going to fix a little bit the lighting according to your preferences, okay? So for the baseboard, it's really simple. Okay, I'm going to move back the cursor to world origin. Okay, and then I'm gonna add uh, a cube I want to have seven centimeters okay and then a thickness of one centimeter I'm gonna rotate it uh, along this axis by 90 degree I'm gonna isolate it and then I'm gonna divide this here Move it back inside. Now go to the X mark. Move it back inside. Control B to bevel. Okay. Apply scale. Control B to bevel. Okay. So I'm gonna hide the furniture and the ceiling. And move this. Uh, Move this object here. Yeah. So now you might ask if I want to extrude this along this wall. How can I do? Okay. So I'm gonna switch back to X-ray mode. I'm gonna select this. Press F3 and search for shear, okay? So now if I want to rotate this, normally if I rotate these vertices, this is what we get, okay? And we don't want this deformation of the original mesh, okay? So I'm gonna press F3 shear, okay? And then I want it along the Y axis, okay? And then press 1. And then we have this rotation along the for, uh, uh, 45 degrees without modifying the initial mesh, okay? So I'm gonna move this along the Y. Yeah, move this along the Y axis and then move it back here. Yeah, and then now I can extrude it along the X axis. Okay, you can see that if I you can see that it bend up properly. Okay, so we are you are going to do the same process along all these corners. Okay. And I've already done it, so yeah, this is the final base board. Okay, after that, I'm going to add uh, the a default cube, move it here when I scale it along the x axis. Okay, and scale it along the Y axis like that in order to cover all the living room. Yeah. And for the material of this cube, I'm just going to add a volumetric cube, a principal volume. Yeah, 
and then apply this to the volume and in the density just put zero zero one yeah and then i'm gonna hide it okay yeah let's see what we have so yeah i might maybe increase this factor a little bit maybe yeah this is way better okay so i think this is all and another thing we can do also is to put randomness into the furniture position by just simply rotate them okay you will be amazed by the difference it can make okay just yeah now we can jump into the lighting part okay so uh let me say this so for the lighting it really depends on you okay so if you want you can just keep this as it is right now but i'm going to show you another setup of lighting you can maybe use maybe not in this scene but in another scene is something i've already covered in previous videos okay so i'm going to go back divide this and go back to war okay so here i've already downloaded this outdoor wild street zero two on poly iron just download this as uh, 4k if you want I'm for the sake of this video, I'm just going to download the 8K version. It won't be, it won't make a little too much difference, okay? So I'm going to download the HDRI and the HRI file, okay? So yeah, then I'm going to just import them. Okay. And then I'm going to let me go to render preview. Yeah, just go come here. If you see this is not working very well, and create a new one, search for environment texture and open it. The HDRI, okay. Just wait for it to load. Yeah. So I'm going to select these. I'm going to duplicate them by pressing Shift T. Okay. I'm going to search now the XR file, the EXR file. Okay. And then I'm going to add a mix shader node. I'm going to connect this one to this one. And then I'm gonna press Ctrl T to add node wrangler. I'm gonna connect this vector to this vector as well. Uh, finally, I'm gonna increase this uh, by 10. This by maybe five. Okay. And then I'm gonna rotate it by something like a hundred degrees. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it looked really nice. It's looking already nice. But I think I'll just include this by something like eight. Then I'm gonna add the lights 
path node and I'm gonna duplicate this make shader yeah, and then connect this this camera right to the vector and then this one too this shader as well Yeah, it's looking really, really interesting now, as you can see. So apart from that, in this little corners, you can add some rectangular light, okay? To add life in your scene. But for the sake of this video, I just want a daylight setup uh, with only natural light bouncing inside of the scene, okay? So yeah, that's all. So now let's see the render settings. As you can see, I'm using the Cycle GPU computer, okay? Um, for the render of this scene, I'm going to keep it as 512. The noise, the denoiser just set it on open image noise and set the pre-filter to accurate, okay? For the light pass, I'm going to put a total of maybe 15, okay? And then transmission to 15 as well. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, I'm going to do... go back to render preview. And then for the performance, you can use tiling. I use it sometimes according to the scene, but here I don't think we need it. And for the color management, I'm using actually AGX. Uh, also, I think a base contrast might be, I don't know, let's see. So it's it's running slow because of the HDRI, okay guys? The HDRI is way higher for this scene, like 8K is a little bit too much, okay? So I'm going to open data again and then purge and use file. Yeah, I think this look a little bit cinematic yeah but in on another video i'm going to show you how to use the photographer add-on mm, yeah to have well, because you have much more control with this add-on it is a paid add-on, okay? For this video, I'm, I don't. I only want to use free stuff. I'm going to show you how to use it, and it give you great control over your scene. Uh, that's all. So we are ready to press the render button, and this is the result. Yeah. This is the result, and I think it turns out well to share the process with you. Also, you are going to find all the necessary files uh, on my Patreon or Gumroad in the links below in the description. Okay, so let me what you think. Tell me if there is some parts of this process you want me to cover more in the following videos. Okay, and yeah, see you. Take care. Bye bye.